I've got to get Haywood to his holy hiding place to surprise his daughters. I have a seat right here. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to bring the girls up on stage with the pastor to meet the church, meet the kids, and then when the time is right, come right down the aisle and reunite with your girls in front of a couple thousand people. Can you do that? I think so. <laughs> See you soon. While Haywood sweats it out, the churchgoers are gathering, and I've got two pretty little girls to say hello to. What's up, girls? <laughs> How you doing? That is a nice Sunday morning welcome. How you doing? Good. Good? Can I sit with you guys in church today? Yes, sir. Yes? yes? All right, come on, I'll follow you. Go ahead. All right. Well, that's right. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Good. They had no idea. I mean, they had absolutely no idea that their daddy was coming home. <laughs> This is perfect. The congregation's rocking, mom and the girls are taking their seats, and dad's already starting to lose it. They actually walked in and sat down. That's when it really got hard to, because I, I finally got to see them in person for the first time. It's super build up, super anticipation. Just couldn't wait for everything to happen. And uh, speaking of prayer, there's a family that I just feel led to pray for today, uh, Sharita and, uh, and the two daughters to come up. Yep, the girls are sure going to be surprised. But remember, even Sharita hasn't seen Haywood yet. I was just really excited to see him. This is a long time coming, I think. A really long time coming. Uh, I know you guys miss Daddy so much, huh? Yes, sir. My dad has been gone for nine months, and I really missed him. Well, we're going to pray for Dad. Is that OK? Yes, sir. Okay, let's pray. Come on. Uh, really, like everybody was clueless. Despite the fact this guy in uniform was sitting there, they were all really were clueless. You miss your dad? Yes, yes, sir. How much do you miss your daddy? 100%. 100%? How much do you miss your dad? Seven. A seven? <laughs> she misses him a seven. Hayden, how much do you wish your dad was here? All the time. All the time? Well, this is no miracle, just a little modern technology. Look at that TV right there. Let's see if we can pull up Daddy. There he is. I'm looking because I knew he was in the church, but I didn't know exactly where he was. God bless you, Haywood. Can you wave to us, Haywood? I thought he was in Afghanistan. Hayden, he doesn't look like he's in Afghanistan, does he? No, sir. I didn't think so. The spirit of the Lord's in this place, and so is one of our soldiers. Haywood, would you stand up, please? I started to walk down, and the tears just falling at that point. He's been gone for over nine and a half months, serving our country in Afghanistan. Everybody in the congregation is praising God and kind of going wild, and it was just really, really beautiful. Welcome home, Captain Haywood McMillan! Daddy! I was happy hugging Dad. We just hugged for what seemed like forever, being able to just hug all of them at one time was, that was good stuff. Seeing my wife and you know, my daughters was great. Getting that hug from them, being able to touch them, hold them, that, that really means a, a lot. It made me feel very happy because I missed them a lot. I was so happy, so, so happy. For the girls to have that kind of a surprise, I know that that will be with them forever. Welcome home, Captain. Just say something. I know you want to say something. I know it. Most important, I think we all know that God is good. God is good. Past nine and a half months, I've definitely grown in Christ. I think we've grown in Christ together as we pray for each other. I'm just blessed, privileged, highly favored to be able to do this, to be able to see my little girls and the rest of my family that uh, I'm speechless, I just know I'm blessed.